receiving third purple, Janessa Kennedy. Entering the ring at this time, class four. Class four. Um, starting off the class, we've got a really, really tall, really angular, really dairy 
um, first place animal. Uh, if I can grant something to the second over her, uh, the second is the her body. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how these two develop. A uh, really nice second place go. Um, she's got a lot of depth of body. Then to continue that theme, um, third place doe is very powerful, just maybe clean her up a little bit, uh, make her a little sharper, a little more angular. Uh, moving into fourth and fifth, um, these two does just aren't quite as big per day of age, uh, so maybe get a little taller. Um, the, our, our first of the three blue ribbons, uh, really nice doe, really sharp and angular, but uh, like I said before, all three of these need to be bred in order to be really uh, competitive in a production class. So uh, good job to all, all the exhibitors. At this time, we'll make the selection of our champion, Junior Dairy Gun. And in the ring at this time will be the first purples only. First purples only from each of the four classes. Here we go. From class number one. We should have Eva Bordowski entering with her Nubian. Yes, give her under applause. From class number two, we should have Madeline Cahan entering with goat number tag number 227. Okay, good. Uh, doing the future. So we're going to go with her for the champion. And if you could bring back 
Is it possible to bring back the second place in that class? We need Eva Bordowski, second place purple. Excuse me, I'm sorry, I said that wrong. Oh. Madeline Gahans, go tag 200.
Attention in the beat arms. Attention in the beat arms. We are checking in beef cattle at this time, both market and breeding. Both market and breeding. Check-ins are until 9.30 a.m. this morning. I would not recommend waiting until 9.30 to get to the shoes. Check-ins are happening now in the beef barn. Both breeding and market. Also, a change in your program. The beef show will start tomorrow at 9 o'clock. We are doing everything possible to beat the heat. Beat show will start tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Thank you. Four smoking does here today. Uh, we're going to start with this doe uh, at first. Get, when you get behind her, she's got the highest, widest rear rudder attachment. She's got a really smooth four rudder attachment. Those teats kind of hang down beneath her right where they should be. Uh, she's also, I think, got of the top three animals the most capacity to her to her udder and just a really nice, nice female. Um, we're going to go for third. Uh, it is kind of some of that woman capacity. Um, she's got a really hot rudder attachment. Uh, that rudder is really full. Um, she's really sharp and angular. If I could change one thing about her is maybe get those teeth to hang a little more squarely underneath her. Um, so I would grant that to number three. Number four, I really like this dope from a structure and a body standpoint, but um, her rudder would just like to bring a little, little more balance to it, strengthen up those attachments. Um, she's also been milking for about five months, so uh, she's got her working clothes on, um, but really kind of make that under a little more balanced and symmetrical when we were up any higher today, but all four purple ribbons. <laughs> Results for class number five. First purple, Jake Bordowski. Second purple, Eva Bordowski. Should have been Eva with the first per Eva Bordowski with first purple, second purple Eva Bordowski, third purple Eva Bordowski, and receiving fourth purple Jake Bordowski. Time is class six. These are three to four year old milky um, dairy goats. Three to four year old milky dairy goats. At the end of class seven, we will make the selection of a champion senior dairy goat and reserve champion senior dairy goat. First, first purples from each of the previous three classes will need to be back in the ring. Favorite, and she said it's hers, so that's why she's going to be the winner. 
Um, not, not really. Her, her reasoning was she was sweeter. Uh, my reasoning for putting this, this doe in first is um, Nigerian dwarf goats are, are built a little differently than traditional dairy goat breeds, maybe. Um, but they are the most popular now because of their size. Um, and this, this female at first went because of her udders. She's got more capacity and more bloom to it. Um, so from an efficiency standpoint, she's going to produce more milk. Um, which is, for dairy goats, that's the, the name of the game. A um, little longer and smoother in that forever attachment, um, and just has everything kind of right where you want it. Um, not taking away from the second place though at all, uh, just doesn't have the, the quality of camera system to move up today. But good job, both purple ribbons. Results from class six. Janessa Kennedy with her Nigerian dwarf received first purple. Receiving second purple, Janessa Kennedy with her Nigerian dwarf. Entering the ring at this time. Yeah, give a round of applause. Entering the ring at this time, class seven, four to five-year-old milking dairy goats. Should be three exhibitors. So in this class today, it kind of comes down to uh, what the draw as far as when they, when they last had a kid. Um, so the first place female is the one that's in production. The, the dairy uh, production show, uh, we're looking, um, looking at their kind of ability to produce milk, but all three purple ribbons. Um, this first place female, if I could change one thing, maybe clean up that four under attachment a little bit, but otherwise, really nice. Uh, in second place, we've got tall, strong dairy. Um, second, what, here with an udder just to see what see what's there um, and then third place kind of the same same thing very dairy um, you know little little more efficient smaller frame but all three nice females that um, would like to see them with their true work clothes on someday
At this time, we'll be making the selection of the champion senior Gary Goat. We ask that you bring both your first and seconds into the ring. First and seconds into the ring at the same time. Life happens, things change. Entering the ring at this time. What are you watching? From class number five, Eva Bordowski with her La Mancha. Right behind her will be Eva Bordowski with her Nubian. Eva, I'm sorry. Eva. Eva Bordowski with her La Mancha, come on in the ring. Directly behind her should be Eva Bordowski with her Nubian. They were first and second purple in class number five. Entering the ring at this time from class six, Janessa Kennedy. Janessa had the first purple with a Nigerian dwarf. Janessa is also entering the ring with her second purple from that class, a Nigerian dwarf. Entering the ring at this time from class number seven will be Scout Pierce. Scout is entering with her La Mancha. Directly behind Scout is Kirsten Peterson. Kirsten is coming in with her overmastly feigning goat. This is my first goat show. Ladies and gentlemen, give these kids a big round of applause. They work hard all year long with their projects. This is this is a selection of your champion senior Gary Goat.